Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Now I'll be explaining insert adjacent HTML which is a instance method. Okay, and I'm going to give an example which is a interesting one. Now before getting into that, I want to ask you one thing. If you guys really like my channel, the way I'm presenting or the content I'm doing, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe. So it will keep me encouraging to do more contents like this. Okay, let's get some knowledge. I'm explaining insert adjacent HTML method. Okay, it is used to add our text to the web page using JavaScript. Before I explained insert adjacent element that to add an element this to add a text okay it will take parameters like position where we want to add and uh, it's a text it will pass this text as a html or a xml to the web page okay to demonstrate this i'll write one example okay what i'm going to do is there is a drop down okay where user chooses the position where you want to add some text and there is a button Okay, if he clicks on that, that will get added. Some text will get added to the existing text. Okay. So for that, I'll use a select tag with ID some options. Okay. And I'll display some options. Option. It's a before begin. Mm -hmm. Actually, there are four positions, right? As I explained in previous video, there is a before end and after begin, after end. Okay, these are my page look like. See, there is a drop down. Okay before begin of before end after begin after end and if someone clicks on insert html i'm going to insert here okay uh, for that i'll uh, take some code like welcome to my channel and within that my channel name mm, p okay if someone clicks on insert html based on the position some text is going to add to the JK code words, okay. First, I'm going to get the button whether it's clicked or not, okay. If someone clicks on that, I'm going to add some text, right? So, I'm getting the position like which value it chose. Okay, and I'm going to add this text. For that, let options equal to. Our ID is options, right? See? Options, okay? Then, I'm going to take this text. Our ID is p right okay our id is p for this text i'm going to use insert adjacent html instance method i'm going to give a position what's the position that is stored in options right options what's the value you gave in a option then what text i'm going to add i'm going to add like jk code words okay let's try this yeah, it's working. See, welcome to my channel, JK Codewars. Okay. My position is before begin. So before this JK Codewars, okay, I'll add a different thing to know the difference. Let's say it's a JavaScript. If I click on insert HTML, my position is before begin. See, before this JK code was, JavaScript gets 
stored if I change the position before end before end okay then similar to after begin and after end you can see the difference in a console also oh uh, not a, oh yeah not in a console it's in a elements uh, see the javascript this is the code okay I executed before begin and before this end I'll execute after begin and after end after begin see after this beginning of the paragraph JavaScript gets stored and after end oh uh, yes see after this paragraph gets ended the javascript gets stored so this is how we can use this adjacent html instance method and similarly it's apply for insert adjacent element also rather than this text we are going to give a element there that's it and to reset this let's add one more button okay button id for resetting okay reset button if i click on reset everything uh, comes to the initial state i'll get that uh, like reset button here okay i'm going to add uh, event listener for that like if someone clicks on that something should happen right uh, this is a function what should happen everything should erased everything should come as a initial state okay for that what i do is i'll get a document whole document and i'm going to get some browser object model there is a location and i'm going to click on reload okay let's see that see this is my initial stage i'll click something okay after this if i click on reset Oh, it's not coming to the initial state. Why, why, why? Mm. Why? Okay, because it's a method. Now let's try. I'll just uh, reload. Okay. If I click on reset, yeah, it's coming to the initial stage. Okay that's about insert adjacent html if you guys really like the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you